Hello guys, welcome to our channel SciTech Hub. The main purpose to start this channel is to bridge the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical implementation. Sometimes what happens, we know the theory, but we don't know how to and where to implement that. So without wasting any more time, let's start with our first video, which is a part of our JavaScript course. We will complete this course in several videos with lots of hands-on coding and practical examples. We hope that by the end of this course, you will be able to make your own JavaScript applications. So stay tuned and make sure you watch all the videos. So let's start with JavaScript. First, we should know what is JavaScript and what what is its history? JavaScript is basically a client-side language. It executes within the browser. And guys, don't mix up with JavaScript and Java. Both are totally different. And JavaScript initially uh, named as Mocha and it was created by Brendan H. in 1995 during his time at Netscape Communication which was uh, at the time a biggest uh, in internet browser so first of all we need to know what is client side javascript is a client side right so we need to know what is client side client side is nothing but a, a local machine that's your machine it executes in your browser it's not much secured as its source code is exposed we will show you how we can view the source code from the browser it is pretty much faster as it executes in your local machine and what is server side for that servers server is a supercomputer it works remotely at anywhere in this world it it is much secured as you can't view the uh, code from through the browser or any home okay so how client side and server side interacts i will explain okay this is the client side right this is your local machine and this is server side like www.sitech.com this is that is server so when you open your browser that is your client machine and hit www.sitech hub or any domain it will means that you are sending a http request to this server and upon that request it will performs or execute something and return the result to back to that response so this is how the server side and client side will interact so why it is taking much time in server side because it travels from the client end to server end executes and written back to that client okay so <coughs> client side language for now uh, those are the client side language javascript action scripts vv script which can be used as also ser as server side dirt and typescript and server side language php asp jsp perl ruby node and cold fusion markup language okay so when we should use javascript and when client side and when we should not we should use server side when it is the matter of secured security and uh, communicate with database we should use the server side and the less secure thing we should use client side like uh, if you are on a web application where a login um, login uh, app process is there there you have to input a username and password and you are putting from the client end it will send the username and password to that server side then it will validate whether this is authentic whether this is correct user id or password if it is correct user id it will redirect to your another home page but if you think that we put a blank thing blank username blank password to that server then it will perform then uh, execute something and return back to that client okay 
it will take ta much time but we can validate it from the client end right so we don't need to send the blank thing to that server it will take much time we can do it in your client end so we should know when to use that client side language we should uh, when the blank checking ml validation image sliding dom decorating things with dynamic process we can use the uh, client side okay so we will explain you the dom what is dom uh, in our later episode <coughs> so let's start with uh, how to write javascript javascript code is embedded within an html page using the javascript tag mm, that script tag we can also write uh, javascript externally and save that file with a uh, extension of dot js and include it in the html file or as we can also write a javascript file javascript code in, in the html file at the header section or the body section so let's list out uh, a javascript code <coughs> so to write javascript code you can uh, use any any editor notepad um, or the wordpad anything you can create like that uh, html file uh, test test dot html okay first we are going to create a html file and write uh, the javascript within the html file okay then we will um, create a separate external js file and include and uh, show you how to include it within the html file so <coughs> uh, we will uh, use the visual studio code for that it's a good editor you can use it in it's a free you can download it uh, through type in google that visual studio code here it is and download visual studio code it's microsoft's product though it's a free completely free you can use here's windows max users and linux users okay or else you can use that simple notepad also okay so let's start open with visual studio code okay so our first code is to write a simple document dot write write uh, how to write thing in the with the javascript with the help of javascript so first create html create html tag it is slash html head section and give a title let's Okay, and body is bodies. Sorry, oops, body. Okay, yes, it's it's ready. Your HTML is ready. Let's open it with my favorite browser, Chrome. Okay, there's a blank thing, right? So I show you I told you that uh, you can write your JavaScript code in the header section and also you can write in the body section right so but uh, you have to write the code within the script tag yes script
<coughs> document dot write it's a function I will explain we will explain you in the later section how it is works what's the function so welcome to site code let's see refresh it see it is here your first javascript code welcome to sdh site hub yes and you can also show a alert message please hit the like button let's see what will happen oopsie the alert is here please hit the like button and welcome to SGS so this is your first code Boom. here you can also write it within the body tag the result is same will be same okay so thank you guys this is that's it for the first episode if you find this video interesting please like subscribe and share with your friends and do not forget to watch the, our next video in the series thank you